Since 2020, the world has been watching the competition between China and the U.S. in exploring Mars. On July 30, 2020, NASA launched the rover Perseverance to Mars. The 2.7 billion U.S. dollars probe carries sophisticated instruments for searching for life and will collect samples of Mars' core before returning to Earth. One, zero. It also returned to Mars with a piece of a Martian meteorite that fell to Earth 1,000 years ago. Perseverance took seven months and traveled more than 480 million kilometers to reach Mars on February 18. A week before Perseverance's departure on July 23, 2020, China launched its first Mars probe, Tianwen-1. It entered a Mars orbit on February 10, 2021, after traveling for 202 days and landing. Its goal is to search for evidence of current and past life and assess the planet's environment. On May 15, 2021, the rover Zhu Rong, carried by Tianwen-1, landed in the southern pre-selected landing zone of the Utopia Planitia, making China the second country globally after the U.S. to deploy a rover on Mars. Beijing announced in July 2021 that it aims to conduct the first manned spacecraft Mars exploration in 2033. It plans to join hands with Russia to create a roadmap for building an international research station on the moon to guide Russian and Chinese cooperation and development in space. Beijing also announced that before manned spacecraft exploration, China would conduct robotic Mars exploration, Mars-based site visits, and the construction of in-situ resource utilization systems. It is expected that by the end of 2030, there will also be an unmanned round-trip mission to collect soil samples from Mars. For the U.S., China is the second communist country that intends to compete with it. The U.S. began launching a rover as early as August 1975 and landed on Mars for the first time in 1976. Later, in 1975, NASA launched a second Mars rover. The two earliest successful explorations together sent back to Earth tens of thousands of high-resolution photographs of Mars. During that time, the former Soviet Union was engaged in a space race with the U.S. It aimed for Mars exploration, but repeatedly failed until the 1980s. The Soviet Union conducted two last Mars missions before its collapse in 1988. The first Mars mission was lost en route, and the second was lost shortly after entering orbit around Mars. The Soviet Union was never able to land on Mars, and its orbital observations of Mars were not sustained either. The massive resources devoted to the space race by the Soviet Union also contributed to its demise. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the race to Mars seems to have lost its point because of the astronomical costs. The U.S. Mars exploration program at one time slowed down, but it continued to develop nonetheless. From 1976 until today, NASA has developed and launched nine probes that have successfully landed on Mars and carried out exploration missions. Among them, the Spirit and Opportunity rovers arrived on Mars in 2004 and discovered that Mars once had liquid water on it. In 2011, the U.S. launched the Curiosity rover, which landed on Mars on August 6, 2012, and discovered that the landing site, Gale Crater, was once a lake billions of years ago and may have supported microbial survival. Curiosity is still in operation. In 2018, the U.S. launched the InSight rover, which first detected earthquakes on Mars on April 6, 2019, and is still in operation. In addition to U.S. and China, the United Arab Emirates and India have joined as new members of Mars exploration. During the presidency of Donald Trump, he explicitly supported the exploration of Mars and proposed a manned landing program. Some analysts believe that Trump saw the Chinese Communist Party's ambitions in space and specifically established the U.S. Space Force. His administration implemented the space race strategy again with the intention of dragging down the Chinese Communist regime, while at the same time making efforts to tighten the high-technology blockade against the Communist regime. Meanwhile, in 2020, the CCP had already failed at least four public space launches. Currently, there are three movable fellows on Mars, China's Zhu Rong and the U.S.'s Perseverance and Curiosity. 
In addition, there is another fellow that has no legs and cannot run, which is the InSight Mars rover of the US. Let's compare China's rover with NASA's Perseverance. Who is more advanced? China's Mars Exploration Mission Chief said frankly in response to this question. There was no comparison. He described the Zhurong rover as having exceeded the US rover's opportunity and spirit in all aspects. But, curiosity and perseverance, the rovers of the Mars 2020 program are way ahead. He said, We succeeded, but we still have a gap, and the gap is not even small in some aspects. We all know the parameters related to the perseverance, and we are clear in our hearts when we compare this. This gap can be reflected in the landing tonnage, rover scale, isotope nuclear batteries, and other detailed breakdown technical areas. In terms of appearance, Perseverance is not very different from the Zhurong Mars rover, with a length like a small family car and a width and height similar to a small RV. However, while Perseverance weighs more than one ton and has a sophisticated design, the Chinese rover is only 240 kilograms. The aerial crane landing scheme was adopted for the Perseverance, which has low requirements on the ground surface and is technically complex. The Chinese Zhurong adopted the most widely used reverse thrust hovering landing scheme, which is technically safe, but has high requirements on the terrain. The slight impact at the moment of landing will impact the precision instruments. Perseverance also carried the Ingenuity, the first small helicopter built to fly in an extraterrestrial environment. What has the US Perseverance rover done in the six months since it landed on Mars? It has done two most remarkable things. Tango Delta. Touch on confirmed. Perseverance safely. First, Perseverance took the Mars mission star performer, Ingenuity, out of its belly, assembled it, and flew it through the thin Martian atmosphere. Ingenuity made its first flight on April 19 and completed its 12th flight a few days ago. Since separating from the Perseverance, Ingenuity has spent most of its time flying next to the Perseverance. It takes aerial footage of the Perseverance at work and sends it to engineers on Earth. It also photographs the Martian landscape from many different angles to create a three-dimensional map of the planet. Another remarkable thing that Perseverance accomplished was to produce oxygen on Mars for the first time. MOXIE, a machine that works like a tree and absorbs carbon dioxide from Mars's thin atmosphere and breaks it down into oxygen and carbon monoxide. The success of this experiment gives scientists confidence that in the future when humans land on an alien planet, they can use this method to create the oxygen that supplies humans. In the meantime, Chinese officials have released much information about Tianwen-1 and the Zhurong rover to the Chinese public and overseas through national TV stations and other media. For example, they have released the update that the travel distance of the Zhurong Mars rover has exceeded more than 1,000 meters or over 3,000 feet. However, a hitch has made China's national celebration a bit of a bummer. On May 15, the day the Tianwen-1 rover landed on Mars, Beijing released a 2.5-minute video showing the landing process of Tianwen-1 in animation. However, Chinese netizens found that the shots, images, and editing of the official animation were similar to the animated footage of the Curiosity mission launched by NASA in 2011. About 9 to 12 seconds of footage of parachute deployment appears to have been taken directly from NASA's decade-old Curiosity CG animation. The footage of the instruments deployed after landing is from NASA's Phoenix rover, which landed on Mars in 2008. The video has been circulated on the Chinese internet, somewhat undermining the patriotic or party fervor that Beijing had hoped to fuel. In response to Beijing's display of space ambitions, Paul J. Saunders, a senior fellow for U.S. foreign policy, told Voice of America that space systems are integral to U.S. national security because they can provide early warning of missile launches as well as military communications and data on time and location. Such data is an integral part of modern, networked military power. While escalating competition appears to be weakening the foundation for space cooperation, the U.S. should continue to offer peaceful cooperation in U.S. space activities to China and Russia while questioning both Chinese and Russian space activities. 
Major Leon Zavitsky, a serving U.S. Air Force intelligence officer, said in an op-ed in Defense News back in June 2020 that China is determined to supplant the U.S. as the dominant power in space. Beijing's norm is to treat space as a military domain and is investing heavily in space infrastructure designed to ensure economic and military superiority. Dr. Mir Sadet was previously Director of Policy at the U.S. National Security Council. In a June 29 speech at the Institute of World Politics, Sadat also expressed concern about China's recent space operations. Sadat argued that the space competition between Washington and Beijing is not about the competition between the U.S. and Chinese cultures and political systems. It is about which country's entrepreneurs and the economy will benefit and which country's people will benefit. As a member of the global world, the U.S. wants all of humanity to benefit. That is unfortunately not the way the Chinese look at the world. They look at it as to Chinese benefit before everybody else. Uh, I would say, yes, the U.S. has an entrepreneurial mindset as well, but we have pretty much a, hey, let's make everybody rich in the process mindset, not that we want to hurt anybody else. And so the discussion then becomes... While China's Mars exploration has garnered much praise, will there be a negative impact from such a costly race to Mars at a time when China is in a major economic downturn? Will it lead to the same fate as a collapse of the Soviet Union? The Mars probe Tianwen-1, launched by China, was named after the work by Chu Yuan, a famous poet of the state of Chu during the Warring States period. When he saw that the state of Chu was about to be destroyed, out of anxiety and despair, he wrote a series of poems, including Tian Wen. According to the traditional Chinese concepts that are labeled as superstitions by the CCP, the meaning of Tian Wen is not very promising. We have ignition sequence start. But if rovers want to be the qualities of us as a race, we miss the most important thing. Three, two, perseverance. Launch, commit. Ready to begin seeking the sands of half-life. Many obstacles are 